What up, Ben? This is John, your boy, IBS Kelsa, coming back with another MX Bikes banger. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys eight tracks that made me a Supercross Pro in MX Bikes. I think these JV test sites that he released on MX Bikes Shop about a whole year ago is absolutely to die for. They have so many different rhythm sections, so many different situationships that are allowing you to really break down the tracks and get your mind flowing to know, maybe I need to hit a double here, maybe I need to go double momentum, hit a triple onto a table, off of a table. Stuff like this can really help you out when we start making the aerial supercross tracks and then you start looking at all these different op options and really realize what's your best bang for the buck. Okay, do I need to round this 90? Do I need to go a full round or can I cut down? And the first track I wanna talk about is the abandoned track. This is a very cookie cutter track, but very rough just because of how the uh, aspect or the environment is. As you see, it's overgrown. There's some weird bumps in there. I would highly recommend putting some really good e on here. This would actually make it really nice for you, but super simple and cookie cutter allows you to actually work on your table to table with a little easy table off you got a little up and over um, stuff like this is really simple but also something for you to actually really get your mind flowing to understand your throttle control and uh, just really your corner speed and stuff like that into certain situations as you can see it's just simple on and offs allowing you to get momentum to get to a triple end with a single off then round these 90s so you can get a really good drive through these corners so you can get really good into the supercross whoops and i think all of these different tracks have great aspect of that number two on the list is going to be blue a which is the yamaha uh, i guess believe the pro track and then they have the kind of test track as well but this right here is just absolutely a great situation for you to get your speed be able to slow it down and take a 180 turn pretty quick i like the double end that allows you to have to really check up and make sure you get back on the ground pretty quick so you can get that next triple allowing you to scrub onto a table get the pop off and then really go for a triple to another triple this stuff like here right here i think they really work on momentum at the yamaha tracks uh keeping your momentum up is probably the biggest thing in mx bikes so being able to go to these these tracks right here you're just finding ways to keep all your speed up and gather it through corners and be able to get ready because that is a very long <laughs> super cross uh, whoop section and if you're not going to keep your momentum up it is not it third track is uh blue b and this right here i believe is just their lesser test track but it has longer whoops a dragon's back in it Stuff like this right here, a lot of people don't even know that you need to always use your front wheel to hit the very last whoop in order to get that pop off. Stuff like that really is just key and then always using your front wheel to get into every whoop. That allows you to just stay planted. You can see the on offs into triples. Just the whole rhythm section really breaks stuff down and I'm, I'm happy to be able to practice on all these tracks. They are $4 on MX Bike Shop. I think it has been the best $4 I've ever spent in this game just because it's eight tracks for $4 and you literally have so many different options to choose from and practice. You literally get the best bang from your, from your buck. I mean, almost any one of these rhythm sections can be inside of an aerial track or supercross, whether it be 2023, 2024, you name it. Stuff like this can always show up and it's very, very nice to know like you have muscle memory and or already repetition of doing this. Next up, we're gonna be number four and this is the Kawasaki or green track. Um, I really do enjoy this one. I think Kawasaki is not really huge on whoops, but they're really huge on getting that high end power to get really good triple rhythm sections and then really good quad sections. This bike really works out with that. Now, I've been able to get the bike to work in the whoops. As you can see, this is, track really only has one rhythm sec or whoop section in it, but you're able to hit really massive quads, allowing yourself to gather a lot of momentum. This bike really fathoms in the low end power of this bike, which I really do enjoy. So I think it's perfect for the kind of situation ship that's this. Um, you are able to go, it's kind of like a dragon's back down, but carrying your momentum, keeping all that speed, to allow yourself to get a big triple and then a super cross triple. Stuff like this is what I enjoy. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't think you guys seen one, I guess other than the table on table off situations. Next one up is orange A. Uh, yeah. So this one right here is really huge because it really focuses on tables here. Um, I don't know what it is, but if you guys are having a hard time getting your pops off the tables and getting triples onto tables and making sure you don't over jump, I think the orange or KTM is the perfect spot for this. Um, I really do enjoy it. It's pretty nice. Um, you really get to see how you can get over tables and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. 
the orange ktm ones have really grown on me especially the the orange b i don't really ride this one as much um i like to focus on the b one it has just a better situation for my 250 riding this one right here i don't even know why i got on the 254 i should have went on 450 but this definitely caters more to bigger boy lines for 450s to actually really get some good training in and they have two nice supercross sections where supercross into a dragon's back and then you finish up on another supercross spot but i really do enjoy the ktm It's probably one of my fan favorites i'm gonna hop over to the practice side and that's where i hopped on the 450 so i kind of went on this backwards i was supposed to be on the 250 here and then 450 over there but either way as you can see i really start checking up pretty hugely um these these jumps are definitely way smaller than what it was on the a track but once again they really focus on trying to get your rhythm and then hopping onto tables or completely jumping over them so many different situation ships and that's what i enjoy Wow, just look at it dude like making sure you don't over jump tables like that being able to round about now this is very tricky i think this is why i love it because trying to get a triple in off of a banked corner like that is really hard you got to make sure you're sitting right or standing at the right time um and all that like that's what i enjoy about all these tracks i feel like i'm kind of beating a dead horse but i'm trying to explain my reasoning of why i'm trying to hit certain things like i am and hopefully you guys are seeing how much i round about all the stuff next up is the honda or red uh, this one's a really great one as well different tracks this one it starts getting into a little bit more tough of the situations this track is definitely more on the harder side um for you guys that are starting out it's just because it has split sections and you really don't know which one you want to do and you have to figure out how to carry your speed and really most likely they have the same rhythms of just different lines you got to take but I really do enjoy the red one. I just don't play here as much as well. Just because this right here is if like I'm kind of training for one of those crazy tracks to be coming out to where it's like crazy lines, then maybe you need to actually come here and focus on actually getting your, your timing down, right? I think that's what this track is. It's not about being super fast. It's just about timing and being smooth, which I really do enjoy. But there's multiple different situation ships here as well. Um, last but not least is going to be the Suzuki um, Yellow. I don't really ride here either, but this one's really nice for tables ons off and getting your triples onto a table and then off as well and then getting that momentum into a corner. They have really huge 90, uh, 180, excuse me, 180 turns. Uh, you're going to be seeing this one right here. Like you're not going to be able to make this triple unless you really have throttle control and corner speed to get that. That is actually harder than it looks. Setting yourself up for another 90 situation into a triple. I think this right here really shows you that you need to carry momentum and speed to get a triple into situations. Sometimes you're hitting a 90 and it's so small that you're just going to automatically double in. But trying to hit that 90 to get into an absolute triple is harder than it looks. But it's absolutely amazing. Um, the, uh, learning that, I think this is probably the best bang for your buck. This is to go to yellow and work on your 90, like your little 90 corners to hit a triple in. It's huge with your step ons, you know, your your standing and when sitting. But I hope this video kind of enticed you to get these tracks. I know I was low key just kind of beating a dead horse to what I, we were looking at, but I do. Hopefully, you guys see how much more different things you can do, whether it be triple rhythm sections, which you are seeing right here. Uh, into small supercross whoops or long supercross whoops keeping your momentum uh, working on your dragons back making sure you're hitting your lines uh, keeping your momentum and corner speed right so you can get quads in like this but um yeah if you guys found this video informational and uh really enjoyed it this is how i became a pro in mx bikes for supercross so hopefully you guys follow in steps and get these i promise you with the new oems coming out it's going to be absolutely amazing um, I, there is no e-road here and you can see the the slip and slide on the new tires so yeah that's all i have for you today thank you guys for watching hit that like button subscribe button and i'll definitely catch you guys in the next one it's your boy ibs kelso